Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Week Crack. I'm your host, Mr. Alexander Solzhenitsyn, love her, but right now, it's a national populace. Ooh, a national populace. But anyways, as you can see on screen, we have the Cicada Return. It's been returned to us from the American occupation. Glorious, as of course we are now looking outwards. The time has finally come for us to assert our claims to the rightful government of all Russians. We must escape the desolate frozen wasteland that is the Far East and make our broken nation whole, of course, once again, as we are still at war with the... Socialist Republic of Baratia, as we're kind of hanging out. Care so, Central Siberia, preparing against the Bolshevik menace. Build new air. It says build new airfields. But you get one airbase. So build new airfield. That's hmm, not quite being truthful there. Fall back land of fortifications in the Barat Yakut region. Emergency reserves would not be bad, even though we're still going to be mobilizing quite a bit of population from here on out. So, our verse Red October looks beautiful. That looks awesome. I love that so much. Uh, what do we have over here? The Russian armed forces are not bad. Modernize the army. Yeah, that looks really good. 100 more army XP from, like, officers. Blueprints are not bad. Those helicopter Cossacks should be deployed. Helicopter Cossacks. Wow. Division attrition, winter attrition, go attrition goes down. Improves, improves the capabilities of our armed forces. Same thing, same thing. Onwards towards liberation for 200 more army XP. Manpower, recruitable population factor. More. Oh, we go with conscription debate. Encourage Russian enlistment. That's not bad. Encourage minority enlistment. Mm, organization? I kind of prefer the organization, but we'll see. More manpower, of course, and the Air Force stuff. Zigarev's landing strip. Focus on fighters. Ooh, that's not bad. Focus on bombers. Still, not too bad either. I apologize that I'm taking so long with this. I just want to make sure we, we know what we're doing here. Traditionalist. Ooh, more people, but the nationalist agenda. Or national agenda. Prison Solzhenitsyn. Which I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, so if I mispronounce things, please correct me in the comments. He announced his primary... Uh, Detailed program today. This program ensures that the public that we will take measures and laws to restore tradition among the Russian people properly. We will have a look at our economy and decide what is best for the people. No central planning and no laissez faire. We shall also build Russia, a place of its own in the international community, as we are still trying to do well against those evil, evil socialists in <laughs> Baratia. Uh, right now, we're taking a slight break from attacking in some areas just so that they can attack us uh, and we can recoup some of our strength, get some more max planning done, and kind of enjoy ourselves here. So. Overall, not too shabby. Uh oh, oh yeah, don't worry about attacking. You are losing something fierce, which is not good. Head down here if you can, because uh, you're not looking too good. Ah, that sucks. But that's okay. I have some uh, help. Not bad. Not too shabby. There you go. Let's get a little more max plan, because right now we are out of equipment except for artillery and mechanized, which we don't use pretty much any of them, and some motorized equipment as well. Not bad. As what are we building up? Civvies? Not a bad idea. Now, we could push him in. I'm not sure pushing him in is necessarily the best idea, but we'll see very soon. National agenda. Good job, guys. Head on in here as we do another focus. So maybe take out Cheetah. Traditionalist doctrine. Traditionalism. That is what will save Russia from the inevitable destruction by liberal governments, religion, family, authority. That is what Russia shall stand for. Mistrustful West. Very cool. Oh, actually, go on ahead into here if so you can. That'd be great. You know, we'll keep these guys here. See what you can do. Oh, they're attacking us here? Oh, very nice. Very nice. See what you can do. Just keep them in place if possible. Here, keep them in place as well. Um, I want to keep moving in if possible. And since you're here anyways, take Cheetah. That'd be great. we got to get to Ulan Uda as fast as possible. But we do have some more air XP. Oh. Oh. So we're forced to go down this way. Fighter detection, ground support, interception defense, naval mission efficiency, which means literally nothing for us. Air superiority. You know what? Wait. Fighter agility. You know what? Let's do it. We'll do it anyways. Ziggurat, if he wants to go down that way, it's supposed to be part of the campaign we go down this way. Oh, look at this. Opposition cadets. SRs. Left SRs. Vacant. Independent. Octoberist. Cool. Anything else down here? Ooh, war bonds would not be bad. Oh, we can. Oh, good. We can re integrate places. Oh, that's good, actually. Oh, that'd be so nice to do. I would like to get to partial mobilization if possible, but we'll see. And if you want to, you can help out as well. Um, I do want to keep pushing this way if possible. I just want you to go this way here to there. Um, I'm sitting here too. I want to send you as well to help out. Just give it a lot of strength. A lot of love. That's what we'll call it. Yeah, give them a lot of love. Beat the crap out of those militia divisions. They deserve nothing. Not even life. As we speak of it. Nice. Good job, guys. The militia is there. Whatever. Serbia is killing itself as well. But then again, who is not doing that right now? Good, good. Oh no, they're attacking us. The big meanies over here are attacking. 
Whatever will we do? We'll attack him right in the butt, too. Oh, we got better motorized. Very nice. Happy 1954, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great year. We can't even do that one because we need to go long stroke gas pistons. Warp time, yes. Yes. Oh, the natural solution. Siding with a moderate conservative wing of the party, October's leader Alexander Stol Solzhenitsyn has, uh, has expressed his utmost delight in the matter, offering his party services in any policy decisions at the Cadetti. Cadetti. Now making regarding the issues of race and gender. Allies are always good to have, which is very, very true. Now I get a hold to hold here first for a second. If anything, you guys go right here, so we can encircle these guys here. That would be great. Encircling divisions is still a very good idea. A chauvinistic rhetoric. Enshrine church doctrine. Promote pan Slavic identity. Protect the Russian family. Ooh, production efficiency retention. See to our legacy. Ooh, more construction speed. If we wish to be known as a successful movement or government, we're going to have to improve the economy. Let us see what we can do to get Russia back on its feet. Sounds like a great idea. Hey, look at this. Very nice. Um, I'm going to keep you guys here too. Thanks, guys. Come on in. See what you can do. Beat the crap out of them if you possibly can. Ah, they're militia? Good. They should die. And they're dead. And if you want, you guys go right there. You just get stay right there. There you go. Do what you need to. Um, these guys should still be moving around. No? Okay. Generally some more. Alright, whatever. Guess there's another point of contention for us to fight, too. They want to reinforce that area. That's fine. Whatever. We'll do whatever we can. We'll go to here to here, maybe. It is an infantry division, which is not bueno, but... Let's see. If we had a, some sort of place to cut them off... Oh, actually, you know what? Screw it. One division. Go right there. There you go. Guess right there. And I can take you to go right there. There you go. That'll work. Hopefully. Should work. But let's go to war economy. Or partial mobilization, at the very least. Six? Yeah, that's not much. But a bloodless coup in China. Oh, those guys are doing work. Nice. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, that'd be so unfortunate if you were to lose your capital by doing this. Saboteur campaign is gone. Very nice. Especially if they were to lose um, uh, that division, too. And sent us for industrialization. As much as I want to secure Central Siberia, uh, it's very clear that the lands under our control are not industrialized. While many within our party have a positive view of this, it's not something we should keep if we want to industrialize. That entertain? Good. Keep working on it. Patents, nice. It's 1954, of course. Uh, we can't go quite there yet. Ooh, what do we want? Artillery? Looking pretty good. Support equipment? Better engineers for more defense. Is that going to be enough? Oh my goodness, I knew it would be. Ooh. Really weird, we can't take everything. Thank you. So now we cannot integrate any place. Okay. <laughs> okay, still can't integrate any anywhere. Now this is not gonna be a good war for us, is it? Because no Soviet government. How large is this government? Under Zuka oh boy, Zukov. Oh, uh, that's a lot of manpower. Oh, uh, it's not that bad. Twelve divisions. We have fifteen. And they're mostly infantry, which is okay. Eighteen combat with is fine, whatever. And we do have one horse boy. Leading the charge with eighteen combat with his well. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Promises of peace, can't... Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, so these are cores. Okay, I, I forgot that these were actually cores already as well, so that's not bad. Cool, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. See to our legacy and then securing Central Siberia. We must secure our land in Siberia. Not only are these warlords just pathetic imposters of Russia, they are also secured risk we must take care of. Actually, how strong are you? Because I might invade. It just depends on what happens. They've only two divisions. Yeah. Ivan Ra Vrachev. He's got one heck of a chin. Look at that squared chin, man. Yeah, we can do war with these at the same time. Wouldn't it be a bad idea? I'm going to be going offensive. <clears throat> Not bad. And these guys are Trotskyites, huh? Revolutionary Communists, Socialists. You guys are Zukovists. Alright, whatever. But then we'll go and do this one as well. Ooh, yes, yes. More damage, yes. I love the damage. We've been going very quickly. That'd be great, great, great. What's on this division, actually? Uh, 14 combat with and engineers, which is not easy to fight against, but it's not that bad. Not bad at all. Fighting through here, though, it's going to be pretty bad. I'm not going to use their tanks just because the attrition is just going to kill them off like crazy, and I don't want to deal with that, so. Alright, let's go to war. What does he have for national spirits? Memories of the Second Union, a limping army, a little NKVD, alright. Uh, Marshall's Red Army, not bad for them. Red Army political factionalism, the Great Unification War, not too much of a buff, alright, cool, cool, cool. And it's sent us for industrialization. See what we can do. See what we can muster up. Of course, he's got the fighting in the river. That's why we're not doing so well here, but whatever. Go in, go in if you can. Ooh, what else can we throw here? Uh, ooh, that's not bad. 
Shipping specialist. Not not worth doing that one, though. Eh, let's see. Exploiting our nation's vast wealth promotes anti-consumerism. Civvy. Encourage autarky. Expand the dockyards. That's not bad. Invest in rural areas. Spang dockyards. Factory alpha 15% is no laughing matter. Welfare Exemption Act is put to the Duma. Patriotic protectionism. Okay. All right. The Russian Armed Forces, though. A strong state house needs a strong domestic army that will be able to deal with all the problems that lie ahead, of course. Modernizing the entire army is not an easy task, but we have to start somewhere. First thing we'll have to do is form a base of operations from which we will coordinate our further efforts towards the creation of a modern Russian army that will bravely fight for everything that the Russian people lost. The Russian Armed Forces will be a masterpiece of our military plans. We intend to remain so until the very end. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Oh, well. There you go. So, how are we doing? It looks like we're doing quite well already. Quite well. Did the other group die yet? No, they have not. Get more attack. Even though more defense sometimes is actually better to do, but whatever. Whatever. Oh, they have tanks here too. That's not good. You'd assume you would have tanks. Zukov. Good. Help him out. Help him out. What are the losses like? 4,000 versus 5,000. Huh. Trujillo, government. Still looking like we're doing relatively okay. They are attacking us a little bit, though. Connect, connect, connect. If you can. Of course, supplies just moving through here is going to suck really badly, so. Should do okay. Oh, they got some resistance, too. I like that a lot. Go here. Not them out. And then, modernize the army. We were left with a bunch of old weapons, equipment, and who knows what else since we started the functioning of the state within the center of Vladivostok. What is at our disposal an unreliable, old-fashioned weapon that cannot cope with everything that our enemies can acquire created in a short time? We must implement new plans that will make the armament of our army, as well as the general readiness of the Russian armed forces, a far more deadly means compared to the current situation which we find ourselves in. Very, very true. And so we don't know. Should be doing okay still. Simeonov's three demands. Our chief of army staff, Grigory Simeonov, came before us with three demands in mind. Equipment, manpower, and officers. Equipment for all of our people to be able to fight in accordance with the needs of war. Men so that we can fill the empty spaces in the walls of our little battle lines. As well as experienced leadership that will lead all, the three, all these people. Teach them how to use equipment and prepare for them for the wars that will be before us. If we manage to fulfill his demands, we believe that we will be able to be proud of our army. Oh, look at that army XP we have. Oh, delicious. Get some recon since we have that anyways. And one more day. Thank you. Attack. Nice. More land out attack. Enemy resistance or resistance targets and our states occupied by the enemy. More recovery and more soft attack. Yes, please. Move on in, guys. You're doing great so far. We've lost 9,000, but whatever. Oh, bros. You also bros. Oh, that's nice. Good job. Good job. Do they want to die? Of course they do. That is what they're here for. Death. Die. Please. If, they, if these guys were to capitulate too, that would be fine with me, but whatever. We got a lot of political power too. I love that. We might want to keep some of the political power just, of course, very quickly. Uh, we could probably close this one too. Vacant seats. Ah, uh, because we don't have, you know, everything done yet. You know what? Let's improve worker conditions. We do want some more stability. Stability is actually very, very good to get, so. Level 4 attack, not bad. He's really not good on defense, but whatever. He's almost a ranger. 99% of the way there. Not bad. Never mind. He's already there now. See what you can do. And the next focus. Actually, how much people are we getting a day? 0.94. Not a lot. That's okay. Officers. Manpower. Actually, 100 more army XP. is not bad. You know what? Let's, let's, let's get some officers. Just keep going with the down the line doctrine. For wars and for leading the army, we need highly trained personnel and we do not have too many to choose from. What we need in the situation is either an incentive to improve the current professional staff or to find new people who, will be, who we will be able to train to lead our armies and divisions in the future. Heck yeah. Basically, free land doctrines? Of course, I'll take that. Of course. 88% of the way there towards becoming an engineer. Nice. How about you? Grigory Mikhailovich Semyonov. Eh, not bad too. Becoming a ranger as well. Organizer, definitely. Good stuff. Can we actually pierce these? No, we can't pierce the tanks. Zidan. Zidanov. Vladimir Zidanov. Oh boy. How oh, Zidanov. Someday soon. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, better tanks. Patents. It's very weird for us to make patents, but whatever. Alright, patents, 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 patents. Get these medium battle tanks, medium tanks, it's fine. We can use more military factories. We can really use more factories. 
the army and its needs. Since its inception, the Russian Republican Army has been in an underfunded and underquipped mess, taking on Russian emigration from Manchukuo and exiled generals from abroad. The civilian government has little to work with, and even less so as it filtered out anti-Republican figures with, from its ranks. And as it stands now, the Russian army requires three things, new equipment for its soldiers, more recruits for the ranks, and a brand new officer corps. If we're to ever bring Russia together under the banner of freedom and liberty, the army, it seems, will need exec extensive reform. Well then, let's get to work. Uh, popular with what? 35 days? Uh, is that worth doing? I want to keep doing our army XP and stuff like that. Open the Puerto Rangel Military Academy. The construction of a modern army requires much more than a mo normal mind could imagine. We need a lot to bring your soldiers to perfection. And there's no better way to do that than via Military Academy. We'll need a certain location where they'll, they will be able to train and further improve them. And what is better for the training of our soldiers in an academy that will bear the name of one of the most famous figures during the Russian Civil War? We're speaking, of course, of Pieter Rangel, the legendary Black Baron. Yes. 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 If you can, just go straight to Krasnorsk. That would be delightful. Looks like these guys are missing equipment, even though right now we are suffering from supply issues, which is not bueno, man. Um, we go there, there, there. You might be able to circle them, maybe? Did you actually win there? Yeah, maybe. Help them out. Help them out. When in doubt, help them out. 17,000 losses versus 31,000. And they'll move, move north to Norals, Soviet government. Ooh, these guys are cut off. Ooh, they take it. Ooh, please capitulate them so we don't have to go to war with them ourselves. Please, please, please. Sheet metal receivers, nice. It's a little bit ahead of time. Come back over here. Logistics, yeah. That's so helpful. Help them out. Uh, you guys are both moving, but if you can keep hurrying up and move a little bit faster, that would be delightful. Okay, there. Move. Of course, then again, it would help if I actually gave you orders. So, there you go. Now go in. Officers, yay! Oh, they actually did capitulate. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Moral uh, line artillery soft attack, which basically means nothing from us just because we don't have any artillery in our lines, I think. What? More entrenchment? Now that's flipping strong. 4% more. Um, anything down here? For some reason, I thought we had better supply consumption when going down this route. It's over here, though. My bad. Okay, work on me, too. I could have saved that for recording stuff, but whatever. Oh, hello. Oh, what the heck? What the garbage? There you go. Now you got it. You're almost in there, and you have... Come on, encircle them, encircle them. There you go. Good. Good job, guys. Lessons from the Siberian Ice March. We suffered a significant damage during the retreat to the icebound vast expanse of the Siberia during the Civil War, and it recovered from this. We entered it unprepared, but now we know what it looks like when the human soul decides to step into such an environment that is just waiting to take another life. We'll invite March veterans and war theorists who will know how we can adapt our army to the Siberian conditions, which will one day be of great help. The Admiral premieres. Although Russia's movie industry has largely been irrelevant since the nation's tumultuous recreation, it's been... There's been interest from movie studios across the ocean in the relatively new state, taking on the role of the former Russian Supreme Leader and Admiral Alexander Kolchak, the Russian-American superstar Yul Brynner, stars in a historical epic about the controversial leader's life and the downfall in Cecile DeMille's latest masterpiece, The Admiral. Staring, or starring, actually. Yoshiko Yamaguchi as the Japanese liaison seductress. Film critics from around the world have sung unanimous praise for what they're calling a timeless piece of kino for the ages, and an unmistakable pioneering film pushing the boundaries of cinematography and sound design, and instant sell at Russian box offices. The film's content has even sparked debates among the political elites on the Supreme Leader's legacy in the Russian history going forward in their tireless quest to one day fully reunite the broken Russia. An outstanding movie, no doubt. Yul Brenner. Didn't think I'd end up seeing him, his name today, but cool. Very cool. Keep going. We're close to Krasnoyarsk. Can't quite take it. As long as we get our guys up here, we should be able to take it eventually, but we'll see. Also, since you're here, just keep... Don't take all those other territories as well. Oh, wow. Look, we got naval stuff we can do. Subs, yeah. Oh, man. If you could go right here, that'd be great, but obviously not. Not bad. Oh, we actually did take Kras Krasnoyarsk. Oh, we're not even close now to capitulating them. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Recon Company 2s. Oh, very good deal, too. If you really want to, thank you. Thank you. Flame forwards 1, 2, yes. And more population and reinforce rate. Uh, living off the land. What every soldier must learn in conditions is the following. <clears throat> You can never know when and where you will find yourself in every upcoming conflict. Whether you will find yourself in a mountain, hinterland, icy desert, tundra, 
sea coast and ocean without any basic necessities. What you'll need at that point is a bare experience of coping in impossible situations like those that get food, water, or in case you can't find it. To focus on escaping such a situation and finding other divisions or the first place from where you'll continue your path to salvation. If you master the technique of living from the earth, you'll be able to oppose everything that'll be in front of you. Not bad advice. Not bad advice at all. Um, honestly, go over here. Cut them off. Cut off the people in the north and you'll be, you'll be fine. If you want... Yeah, you go in there. Why not? We're not winning as much as we used to, but whatever. Actually, you should be able to win there, too. Let's keep pounding them. We have no equipment. After this, we're going to take a break from fighting all these wars. We need so much infantry equipment, though. But hopefully when we capitulate them, we'll do okay with them. Oh, yeah. Re it. Let's see. For 50 days, we lose weekly stability and political power. Get 13 new seats added to the Duma. It's worth getting cores. It's worth it. We're struggling down there mighty greatly, but whatever. And centralized army command. Factionalization within any command, political or military, leads to many problems that we'll not be able to solve in time and bring us to our needs exactly when we least need it. So our enemies who share or have to share the same view in a way of fighting wars to take a convincing victory against us. By creating a single military command in our army, we'll be able to more easily coordinate the actions of our troops and more easily determine what and how we will do. It also prevent divisions within the army and ensure safe and steady progress in our goals. It's very good to have. It's always good to have goals. Keep moving in. Even if we can't win everywhere, we're winning in enough places that it doesn't matter. And we did cut them in half. Beautiful. Alright, so with you guys, I want you guys to still, like, stay up here. There you go. With the bottom half, deal with the bottom half. It's fine. Oh, look at that. You know what? He's an organizer, too. That's actually really good. Equipment capture ratio, actually. Are you becoming an organizer as well? He's 69% of the way there, which is not bad. He's 4 and 3. Well, he's 4. Oh, he's also 4 and 3. You know what? Ranger? What if I promoted him? Vladimir, Vladimir. Screw it, we all want that now. Sorry, uh, Simenov. This guy. It's good. Revival of the TTA. As the Russian state continues to expand outwards in its tireless wars of reclamation in the West, we need to connect the people across their new vast lands as oil increased. Coming to Vladivostok in search of failing these new opportunities, we're now in Belarusian American entrepreneur David Sarnov. I was announced the creation of the commercial telegraph agency, the Torgo Torgov. 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 Telegraphone Agents Vo. The News Broadcasting Corporation utilizes for refurbished Soviet radio equipment, and for the first time in Russian history, it also broadcasts TV programs regularly. While many Russian people don't have the money for TV, many wealthier families and even department stores have seen crowds of people huddle around a TV set. Watching was undoubtedly a promising sign for the prosperity of Russia. Advisors, anti German rhetoric, of course. Kerensky is still here, unfortunately. Traditional roles. Nice. Populist economics, very nice. And we also have Legacy of the Ice March. It's available contractor, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, we could try that. Yeah, why not? Seems kind of unique. We should do that if it's so unique. Oh, we got encircled here. That sucks. Oh, yeah, we got your. Uh, here. You can learn. Where's the capital? Oh, my God. Norilsk is a capital now. Are you kidding me, man? Well, at the very least, picture these guys down here, too. Go here. How many times do we need to take their victory capital? It's kind of ridiculous. Keep taking all the territory you can. Good, good, good. Oh, I got Tomsk. Look at that. Oh, we're getting close to taking Tomsk, or whatever it is. Coup d'etat. Well, this is still good to get a lot of army XP this way. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of army XP. Modern Recon Brigade. Scouting is a key before every battle that opens a locked door victory. Our scouts are good, but as time went on, their experience and equipment are outdated for all the troubles that can befall us. If we redirect our forces and focus on modernizing and reconnaissance brigades, we'll be able to find ourselves behind enemy backs without any problems to attack them suddenly when they do not expect it, and to defeat them so strongly that it'll occur to them, never occur to them to oppose us again. Nice. Alright, still 55, of course. Anything here? Better light aircraft? Yes, please. You want to help out? You can do really great there. We're struggling up here a little bit, but whatever. He could use a little bit more of a struggle. He's become an infantry leader, organizer, engineer, ranger. Sorry, Gregory Semenyov. It is what it is. Nothing personal. Oh, we got him. Nice. Not bad. All right, Norilsk. Yes. Novosibirsk. Yes. But now we're going to need quite a few more divisions. It looks like. Um. Now we're missing. Oh my goodness. Honestly, it's not that bad. Onward towards liberation. 
Now is our time. We must not stop now, but we must catch the full momentum that we achieved when we got a strong win on our backs. Our goal is very clear. We will not stop until we liberate all our people for who are under the occupation of communists and fascists. We must not allow them to do that, and we must fight against them for the common good that is in our hearts. Forward towards liberation. I love free. Free, free. Well, not free. We spend time to do this, but free-ish. Ish. Ish. Army XP. Occupation policies? Yeah. Civilian oversights. Oh, local autonomy is not bad. Uh, B. Right? We want bees here. We like bees. Military police? Yes, please. Which should save us quite a bit of equipment here. Of some sort. Oh, that hurt. This hurt our support equipment too, but whatever. Military police. There we go. Flammenwerfer? Uh, 55. Engineering? Not bad. Radar would not be bad either. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Pretty good. Manpower? Looking pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. So now, the goal is, in this part of the campaign, stabilize everything we got. Actually, how many divisions I got? Because the permanent Soviet government is the last major obstacle before we can really reunify Russia. Oh my god, they have a lot of divisions. Uh, okay, anyways, equipment. Uh, blueprints are not bad. I'm not really too focused on that. Modernize the airports is okay. That's free air doctrine, free air naval doctrine. Final conflict. Mm, promote anti-consumerism. A consumer's identity will ruin our country just as it ruined the West during the 20s. Russia's no place for the strain of thought. Now we will promote voices who speak against such things. They look not bad. War sports pretty good. Stability's pretty good. Promises of peace, not very good. But the uh, Slavchinsky is hurting us slightly, and our words of liberation is doing quite well for us. Ban the hammer sickle, not bad. Economic shock therapy. Wow. Four days left. Eh, a couple more days. Uh, we're still getting more army XP, which is nice. Very good. Uh, naval XP still going up good. As well as the Nice. Good, good, good. Exploring our riches. Russia is rich in natural resources, from coal to silver and gold. However, under previous governments, these resources have not been exploited. We shall change this and begin to take in the revenue. Ah, look at that. 289. My goodness. Infiltration assault. Nice. International support. Not super helpful, but that's okay. I'll still take it no matter what. And we have two more. Uh, defensive strategy and more recovery rates. Not bad. I like that. Plus 0.3 is, not, is really nice. More population? Do we really need more population? We have over 600,000, and we're still mobilizing, because we go all the way to 8.5%, especially if we get more cores later on. National cause? Honestly, focus on core areas of defense and making it a massive challenge for the enemy. National cause? Rally the population, name of warfare in the nation. Honestly, that sounds like the exact thing that we need. As much as I want 0.3 more recovery rate, that sounds exactly the thing we need right now for this campaign. So, I think that would probably be the best route for us. Um, you guys go here. I want to take you out, actually. And I'm going to put you under this guy. No. You get him. That's fine. You, though, infantry, will be led by Mikhail. Why not? So you guys can stop doing that. Both of you can come over here. And I'll start building up the roads just a little bit better. Over time. Over time, of course. There you go. Don't bother us again. And roads. Supply base is probably really important to build uh, air bases, of course, airfields, whatever we call them. Um, you know, it is what it is. And then encourage autarky. We cannot rely on America forever. Russia must become a self-sufficient country. Foreign economics influence will only tear down this country, while Russian governing, well, Russians governing their own economy will lead to us to a newfound greatness. More land auction? Oh, yeah. Better uh, infantry production costs? Nice. I'll look at that, too. South Sakhalin? You know what? Why not? Sounds like a good idea. And expand our dockyards. If Russia to receive more money from maritime trade, it's certainly not be able to with this current state of our dockyards. We'll work on expanding and modernizing them. That's a good idea. Uh, more civvies, because I love civvies. Even though I said we need more millies. Civvies for now are the way to go. Boom, boom. Don't want to forget about those areas. And that area down there too. And air base... Uh, build two. Happy 56, everybody. Let's go back over here to industry, resource extraction, plans would be nice, we're going to go dispersed, concentrated, we do want Siberia, mass production, yeah mass production, mm, we're pretty dispersed already, maybe we should go down that route, what else can we grab here, <laughs> total mobilization, not quite, computing, electronics, research speed, motorized, Amur firearms, that's interesting, motorized, mechanized, infantry equipment costs, oh Lockheed, more range is okay. You know what? Let's grab you. Why not? We'll grab you anyways. 
Then we can introduce production quotas. It is necessary to increase production. For all of Stalin's faults, he was at least correct in promoting the stock of Novite movement. We need to introduce quotas and encourage everyone to work, of course, even harder than they were before. Which can only result in a good thing. Right. Right. Cool. Guns, we need way more. We need way more of this as well. Artillery, even more of that. Way more support equipment. Yeah, we need more millies. Crap. Definitely could use more millies. So I guess beer is really not known for a lot of its uh, military industry currently. It is what it is, though. You know what? Let's take off one of these and add in another one of you guys. There you go. There you go. There you go. So I'm just pretty much probably going to wait for them to try to attack us. Uh, let's go. I'll go with that one. Why not? Let's go, let's go concentrated. Production quotas will be very, very helpful for us. And what's down here? Patriotic patriotism. Expand our dockyards. We should rebuild our presence as a naval power. And assert a sovereignty over the Pacific Ocean. To undertake this project, we'll expand the Vladivostok shipyards. Might as well. Might as well. Hey, too. Not bad. All right. What else can we grab down here? Guns. Hmm. I like guns. We do need more. We don't really need more motorized infantry mechanized, so. Lolita. Uh-oh. Headlines have been made in Russia as opposition politician and prolific author Vladimir Nabokov has released his latest and his own view, Greatest Work Lolita, a tale by a pedophilic French uh, professor who sexualizes and eventually molests a 12-year-old American girl. What the heck? The book has already proven to be extremely controversial, both within Russia and abroad. Some have praised it as a classic, while others have criticized it for its pornographic themes, especially involving a minor. And a formal ban on publishing it in person has already been placed, assuming in Russia, and most notably Octoberist leader Alexander Solzhenitsyn, are also lobbying for a ban. In a debate in the Duma, October's deputy, Lev Gumilev, ooh, bless his heart, gave a speech strongly criticizing Nabokov and called on him to resign, although it's unlikely that this effort will make any ground. Nabokov has been called the piece's greatest work yet, despite the hailstorm of criticism he has faced, and denies he himself has any pedophilic desires himself. It's, uh, interesting? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Well. I guess this is a group we gotta work with, so. Satisfy the Warhawks. The Warhawks within our party are seeking an expansion of the arms industry. A necessary thing in reunifying Russia and bringing down the Germans, we will grant their wish. Because we need to. Alright, let's keep going with this stuff too. Pity. Okay. That's not bad. It's not great, but not bad. Savies and millions at the same time is a good idea. You guys keep training yourselves. I just don't want to send you over here because the supply is going to be so bad. It's just going to be so bad, 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 bad. A uh, permanent Soviet government looking not bad. That look looking pretty, pretty good actually for them. Mm, looks like a garrison division to me. Anything else down here as well? Not bad. Garrison divisions. Ooh, I like to see this. Um, not bad too. Supply. Ooh, it's like, look at all the ra what happened to the railroads here? Why is this all like circular? Did this is this because of the AI? It's kind of bad. Not gonna lie. We got that too. We got that too. And I don't need both railroads, but whatever. We'll get them eventually. Uh, I'm going to go through this stuff first. Let's see, the Russian landing strip project. In the views of the Mili Ministry of Defense, it would be an ideal aim to expand airports under our control. Russia become a giant landing strip for the world, and we will make uh, rake in more than enough to make up for the cost of the expansion. Oh, Greece is finally having its crisis over with? Yeah, we'll see about that. Well, there's only one we could choose here. Hmm, fine, whatever. Whatever. Nice. Ground support. Interception defense. It's fine with us. Uh, air bases. Do we have any planes? I think it's an attack. I did want to save those, so no, not really. We, well, we're doing the best we can with what we got. It ain't much, but it's honest okayness. Mikhaili opens the doors. American influence in the Russian Republic is indisputable, and as the age of the fast food joint has been taking off in the U.S., the port of fast food is bound to happen. Opening its first location of Vladivostok, Mikhaili burgers and fries have become an instant hit among the wave of new customers. With lineups. <clears throat> uh, stretching beyond and around city blocks, people have gone to eating on street corners and park benches when restaurants seem quickly overflowed. The most popular meals of the first day included a mimic of White Castle's 10 cent slotted combo as well as a never before seen root beer. Not hesitating to capitalize on their instant success, Michaeli has announced that it opened more locations throughout the Republic. The fruits of the West are limitless. Invest in rural areas, of course. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Good infrastructure. Rural areas are the backbone of the Russian economy and culture. Further money will go on to making sure rural people have a higher quality of life. Not a bad idea. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Oh my gosh, do we need more guns? And anti-tank. Oh, we need better than just basic anti-tank. That sucks. A couple comments included. Uh, we should do the Kazakh Military Okrug 
some time and, get, and play as Vlasov. Yeah, we will probably. We honestly probably will. Don't free state. Free cost of credit army. And someone says, I oh, should do TNOs. Uh, you know, some time. I will. I promise I will. I'm not sure when, but I promise that I will. Um, it's definitely on the list. Definitely, definitely, definitely on the list. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Can we actually get lucky? Uh, you actually get the same thing, except, wait. 10% fighters, 10% fighters. What's it? There's no difference. Got them on the international? Why would we want general... Okay, just do this one. Completion of the Kamchatka Air Base. Uh, Alexander Kolchak Airport has announced its opening in Kamchatka to much fanfare today, serving as the Republic's first domestic airport outside of Vladivostok, sitting on the important eastern Siberian junction mere miles away from American Alaska. The airport shall serve as an important junction for American travelers wishing to visit our nation. The prospect of the Kamchatka region seeing unprecedented growth as well as, as wealth from people around the world enter such a desolate region. Wonderful. We get a whole factory. The Welfare Exemption Act. Now, I don't know if this is we can actually do this successfully. Uh, 54 is pretty good. They do have 37, so we should be able to pass it no matter what. Interaction points. We want to keep some political power here first so we can actually do this. But preparing against a Bolshevik menace first. The time will come soon. The moment of our greatest glory of uniting the nation once and for all under the banner of liberty and, and end of the Red Oppression. However, obvious, they make it known. They were sent by the devil, Lufusur himself, with the red armbands and banners. That's true. Once we get that done, we'll get the road. We'll start building up railways to connect everyone here, so. Looking a lot better than it was earlier. Artillery's looking better. Anti-tank is looking okay. Motorized is okay. Mechanized is okay. Support equipment's looking not great. Oh boy. We still have only 21 divisions, but whatever. Uh, what is on these guys? You have logistics already. That's good. Good. Extraction. Thank you. Oh, we'll try it. And then we'll do that one. Then we'll do this one and whatever. The Welfare Exemption Act. Unfortunately, there are a number of people who are abusing welfare in order to get money without doing work. We must limit the number of people who are on welfare in order to get the money to those who need it and have more money to spend on more important matters. We don't have enough political power to do whatever we need to do here. Legacy of the Ice March? No. Oh, we actually got more reconnaissance. Planning speed, max planning factor. What is factor then? Max planning, not max planning, but max planning factor. 20% more. Non combat out of supply penalties. Oh. Traditional values, of course. Populist economics, better consumer goods. Lack of resources penalty hurts us. That does suck, but you get more out construction speed and factory output. Guess we still here. Um, not bad. Overall, not bad. And this one's still the same. Influx of immigrants. Not bad either. Patriotic protectionism. Well, wait to do this one. Preparing against the Bolshevik menace. So let's see what this is about, all about. Days of 34. Unfortunately, there are a number of people who are abusing welfare. Okay. Yeah. View effects. Um, negotiate with the party. Um, uh, maybe doing this wasn't a good idea. What, is there any reason not to do this? You know, I have only so much interaction points. Oh, 40, oh, so we have 49 out of 94. So we got one from the cadets, one from the SRs, and 47 from the Octoberists. I guess we didn't really need to get that out of there, so... I couldn't read. 49 out of 94? We need 47 at least. 40, 48, really. We get more factory output. Well, for Exemption Act. That's cool. Days left. So now we're out of exemptions. Okay, well, that's, that's, kind of di that's kind of different, you know? Come on, October, so you can't all vote for us? Huh. Final conflict. The odds are admittedly not in our favor. The disgusting communists in the West have more resources at their disposal than the armies to back it up. The only way we can ever hope to succeed in eradicating the foul central Bolshevism is if we through careful planning for what will be one final war against of the ages against our only other mortal enemy besides the Nazis. The contradictions of Marxism will be enough or evident to soon enough all of to all available. Patriotic protectionism. We are Russian patriots who are supportive of an economy that is by and for Russians, not, not dominated by hostile, dominating influences. Protection is not reserved to the left wing, we conservatives can support it too, and it's been passed. Despite the opposition's strong stance, October has efforts in pushing past their bill succeeded. Alexander Solzhenitsyn remarked that this is truly a great political victory for the Obratsitsi, Oktyabritsi, and improve the people's opinion in the government. As a major step forward of the policy of the Okto 
Oktyabrutsi. Excellent. And there's a lot of support for this campaign too, so I'm glad you guys like it. Establish defensive lines. A war with the Bolshevik will come soon. We must be prepared. While we're also ready and looking forward towards offensive, we must also improve our defenses in case of an operational failure. Because you never know what might happen. There you go. Yeah, let's go Marapa, which is really helpful. Oh my gosh. Minus 2,000. That's so much better than what we were at earlier. So much better. Even though we can still use more empty tank. I'll die, Stevenson. So that's a case. Five is good enough. Three is okay. We need more here. We need more support equipment as well. The railroads now need to be built from here to there. Because it's not connected, which sucks. But this will definitely help us out, hopefully, um, when we're fighting through here. Because it's, as you can see, not good. Which is okay with us right now. Because the enemies are suffering it and hopefully losing quite a bit of equipment. Uh, build new airfields. As the government moves towards a state of war, we must prepare ourselves. The new war is fought in the air as much as on the ground. Therefore, we must spend time and capital developing our air force and its airfield. One airfield. Mm, don't understand why it's only one airfield, but... Oh, well. You guys looking okay as well. I will move you a little closer to the front lines, though. There you go. But not really. But yes. Really, yes. Anything else here? No? Oh, actually, I kind of like this. It's interesting. And it does, it does take into account how many seats you do have. Mihaly expands operations. Following the initial success of the first restaurant of Vladivostok, Mihaly has been since opening new locations across the capital. As smaller towns across the Republic gradually grow amidst of the government neglect, or amidst years of government neglect, the demand for the sum or same amenities as the capital has only grown in scale, looking to expand into this new market. Mihaly Burgers and Fries has announced its first out-of-city locations in Cup. Khabarovsk and Yakutsk and other settlements. The move is projected to bring in new jobs to struggling states in Siberia and further export the greatest benefits that Western capitalism has to offer. Hamburgers for the rich and poor. Raise emergency reserve just in case. Wars are fought with men as much as they are fought with weapons and machines. Therefore, only a fully manned military can defeat its opponent. Yeah, pretty much. Better MiGs. Uh, or, oh, maybe, yeah. Mikoyan Gurevich MIG 15s. Nice. Keep building that up. Ah, uh, since you're getting that one done first. Go and finish that one first. That's fine. A few weeks, not bad. 20 day focus, not bad either. I feel like you just go to war and just have them just try, try to slaughter lines a whole bunch. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's looking better too. Could be looking even better, but whatever. We'll take whatever we can get. Better on trains too. Overall, not bad. How are we doing here? We are just waiting for support equipment. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. You guys doing what? Uh, that's not bad. 18 combo with this is very good. Building new airfields. The reverse red October. We could do an attack on them. Mass defections. We we'll go to war with them. We could. Manpower. Incentives. Conscription. Equipment. One of the issues we have to solve our supply or solve to supply our army is the issue of military equipment. We cannot rely on the older models we have at the moment, but we must direct all of our forces towards the modernization of the same, but also the procurement of other equipment. That'll be a great benefit to us in further conflicts. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Yeah, it's only a blueprint, but you know what? It's 57. Something we could really use, so. Excavation dose. Mm. There, APC stuff. Not using a whole lot of that, but we'll get that done eventually, too. Good. Good. Followed up with... <gasps> oh. Let's do some uh, modernized air force. And like every piece of our equipment on land and on the water, the air sector is vastly outdated and can lead to problems if not enough attention is paid to it. The planes are old and can easily fall from the sky, or some can't even take off at all. We need to solve this problem. We will begin the entire program of modernization of our aviation to such perfection that there will be no better aircraft over the Russian sky and Pacific waters, except maybe <laughs> the American ones, of course. There you go. Oh, we're getting the roads done really, done really quickly. They have so many flipping divisions. Oh my gosh, 14 to 20 million manpower. So many factories. Holy crap. I wish we could tell which way they're at, because they, well, they will go to war with us eventually. Glory to the Soviet Union. They need to own Vladivostok first. Liberation War, yeah. Malgon. Papers? Didn't that... Was that supposed to fire earlier or not? Ah, we're done with our land option, looks like. Nice. So, as much as this makes sense to do, that just campaign wise, it just makes sense. Rather the population, even the warfare in the nation. Oh, cover rate would be so much better, but whatever. Tactical withdrawal. Just flat population. Screw it, we're gonna go that way. Do it to go to show Reich? And Ziggurat's landing strip. The village of Zigarev has proposed an interesting plan, the construction of airport runways throughout the Republic. In this way, we'll be able to provide a sufficient amount of aircraft for the future, but we'll also be able to provide runways for training and further <clears throat> training of pilots for those that we currently have, which is a very good idea. 
Mm, fighters and bombers. Bombers. Huh. Lessons from the Pacific War. Reaping the Whirlwind. The White Hawk's Doctrine. That sounds cool. The Russian Valkyries. Okay. We're we'll probably getting bored with that. But his landing ship. And then we'll do some cultural stuff too. Uh, let's keep it open at least. So we can, if we get a lot, we can use them both. Alright. Poop working conditions. Stability is not 100%. Yep. We'll work on it. Modernized frontline support. That's not bad. Don't really need to do that one though yet. Maybe it's kind of worthless right now. Don't really care about it too much. Get some better casts. I like that a lot. And tanks? Not quite. There you go. Just in case. Tot oh. They announced total war. Oh boy. Oh boy. But let's do chauvinist uh, rhetoric. Oh, that's not bad too. Our nation can only be great when it holds its own. We shall stand by our values, by our traditions, of course. Our great Russia will not sit down during negotiations nor during foreign affairs. We'll we will take care of threats to our traditions. Sounds like people with backbone. Oh, look at that. We got with uh, our roads. Railroads. To be more exact. Let's see. Infrastructure. Nice. Good, 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 good. Thick railways. We got quite a bit of political power, too, which is nice. Promise pan Slavic identity. Defensive war capabilities. A lot of penalties. Debuffs. Promote pan Slavic identity. There's only one Slavic nation, and that is the Russian nation. All other Slavs are just enslaved brothers who have been separated from their homeland. There are no Ukrainians, Poles, or Serbs. We are all part of the Russian nation. Or we're all Slavs, of course. And the differences between us are too minor to be bothered with. It is time to reunite the nation. Oh, forgot about that group, huh? Mm, drop tanks? Might as well. Yeah, you might literally as well just do that. Not bad. Wartime fighters. At least we're getting better fighters now. Better subbies? Chubbies? Who's here who has a chubby? For their subby. There. Chauvinistic rhetoric. I love these 35 day focuses. It's just so nice. Compared to like. 70 day focuses or even 50 60 day focuses 35 is just it's it's it's, it's good stuff that's good stuff for proud people oh yakut language reform with the expression of minorities oh minorities uh on the upswing the issue of language has come to light of course as it did during the early soviet period this time the matter of linguistic and orthographic reform has sprung up in none other than the coal mining government of yakutia where indigenous and acute leaders have entertained the idea of a new non acrylic script particularly simon nogorupadaps Plan of, based on the international phonetic alphabet. Huh. Yakut's intelligent or intellectuals are not uni united, however, and some with more pantrichic inclinations have suggested an alphabet similar to the proposed Latin based Yanalif alphabet for the Tatar language. Whatever the script, however, both sides agree the Yakut people and the non Russians within Russia as a whole deserve the right to be their own people or direct to their own scripts. If it's in intricacies of the language, connect them to the Turkish brethren. Who cares? They should be speaking Russian, anyways. Enshrined church doctrine. Religion is the base of our society. We must give the important parts of our political, oh look at that, system, such as the schools, the church, to the church for more influence. Only religious influence will turn people from becoming Freemasons. Okay, so now they're fighting each other? Whoa. Oh! Holy crap! Yeah, they just annexed all this area. Holy cruddy daddies. Oh, they're gonna lose. Probably. All strong as the Reich. That is, this is the big end boss for us. They don't have any divisions compared to these guys. I mean, they're very similar. Well, they maybe do have more, but... Oh. If these guys win, that's not bad. Oh. Okay, they... Oh my god, they are going total war, aren't they? I gotta play as Goebbels. Have I played as Goebbels before? I think I have played as them. Have I not? Have I? I don't know. Oh, I gotta play as Goebbels again, then. Nico Germans? Spare's way? Or daddyism? The score is 57. Helicopter engines, not really going to bother with that. War austerity trains, we can get that if we need it really, but we probably don't, honestly. 50% uh, is pretty good, actually. Um, everyone's killing each other now already as well. After that one, let's go ahead and start doing some more of this stuff. Reverse Red October. Oopsie. Time's come. We move to reverse the damage done during the Red October or the Red Oct the October Revolution. Repair what is left of a country destroyed by the faulty lives of the Bolshevik and communism. I want to see the Germans do really well against these guys, so we can get, eat these guys up a whole bunch and meet the Germans halfway there. But then again, I want to kill these guys off too. So decisions, decisions. Even though we don't have enough military factories yet, god dang it! I don't want to lower that just yet. We're working on it. 
These guys should be able to capit be capitulated, though. Um, it's not good for the Germans that they are on this front of the war, and then they're on this front of the war. Um, new old New England makes sense, of course. But yeah, the Hungary's probably going to die, and then... Oh, well, I guess... Yeah, there goes those guys, too. But who do they go to war with? Oh, Lithuania as well. They're going that direction, not us. It's very odd, but okay. Well, oh, we have made three more divisions, too. That's not bad. We have only 24 divisions on the front line, which is honestly probably really, really bad. But whatever. We'll go try it anyways. And a pious people. Protect the Russian family. I think we should probably do that one. To damage the enemy cares. That's nice. A happy people. That's nice. Anti-communist. Re-education. Trial of the NKVD officers. Dismantle the archaic bureaucracy. So we can't do any of this stuff now, but I guess we'll do this one. We have to protect the Russian family. Oh, nice. The Russian family, right after the church, it is the most important part of our nation. We should promote family businesses and promote family housing. We should give women with more children welfare, tax breaks even. The family will be what will represent the nation as a whole. Absolutely. The family without family, you have no nation. I kind of like this campaign quite a bit. Oh, look at the culture show. Reich is struggling. Oh, wow. Okay, now they're really struggling. <sighs> hey, Jewish. Five divisions. Beautiful, my friends. Protect the families who go to war. Oh, hello. Oh. Um. Okay. Right, where, where, where do we get these people from? Mastiff. Oh, we got mass affections. Oh, we had mass affections. Okay. You're all over. Okay, then. Um, you know what? I'm going to convert you to cavalry. That's fine with me for now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, that works out perfectly. Dmitry uh, Vertopov. There you go. See what you can do. Please capitulate these guys if you possibly can, because you're learning to get to German. That's kind of cancer. It's looking at all the GGR they're getting. Okay, do you want to lose? No, 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 no. Let's not be crazy here. Um, sure, why not? War propaganda seems pretty good. Order convoys. No, we're pretty good. Mm, we could do it, but no. We have plenty of manpower, too, as we're mobilizing even more. Uh, Isaac Steinberg dies. Tragedy struck the left socialist revolutionaries as his longtime leader, Isaac Steinberg, passed away today at the age of 68. Born to a family of course, Jewish merchants, this young Steinberg had joined the SRs in 1906, quickly becoming a political dissident under the Tsar's absolutist rule. A staunch anti war revolutionary, he was initially delighted with the results of the February Revolution and was elected a delegate in Kursky's constituent assembly. Although wary of the Bolshevik, he nonetheless took up the position of commissioner, commissioner of Justice and the R. RSFSR, becoming well known for his extremely lenient handling of political prisoners, butting heads with Vladimir Lenin on more than one occasion regarding Slavnarkom's punitive measures against so called enemies of the state. Steinberg began drifting away from the Bolsheviks, eventually leaving Soviet Russia altogether when the Brest Litovsk Treaty was signed. He moved to Weimar Germany and began working with socialist and Jewish ter ter territorialist groups until Hitler seized power in 33. Living his life as an emigre in Canada until the Russian Republic's revival, he returned to the new government espousing anarchist and syndicalist rhetoric, something which earned him significant notoriety in the later Kerensky years. <laughs> Having passed the socialist movement on to the relatively unknown Andrei Sinyavsky, the left SR's new leader is only known to some as a popular uh, literary critic. Where the socialist new young leader can bring the party into the political mainstream, however, remains to be seen. The left's eldest fighter shall rest in peace. A happy people, a moving people. Mm, what do we want? Our place in the world. All around our glorious nation, there are nations that seek to put an end to our flames of freedom. Fascists and communists plague the once great continent of Europe and Asia. There is indeed no place for a free Russia. Therefore, we must carve out our own place in this world. Pretty much. If they won't let us have it but peacefully, then we must take it forcefully. No. Good. How are we doing? Are we doing okay here? I wanted them to try to, try to kill us, but, you know, at this point, I don't think it's really going to happen that way. I mean, if you want to help out here, probably for the best. Oh, oh, now they're attacking us too, huh? Nice. You know what? You all hold. You're winning in a lot of these places, but you know what? I'd rather just you guys hold. Just hold for now. Hold for now. Oh wow, that they were beating the crap out of our guys really fast. Mm, they're forcing an attack. It's interesting seeing that. They're not still not to be messed trifed with, messed with too much. But then again. Just like us. 33,000. Oh, that's not us. 10,000. 8,000 versus... Oh my gosh. The Germans are doing a huge number on them. We only killed 21,000 of them. It says we can do well. Can we actually do well here? 
We need more anti tank. Definitely could use more anti tank. Um, if you're gonna attack, make sure everyone is doing it together. That doesn't make any sense why you would do it without any support, so yeah. Make sure we're doing it together. And happy people. Our people are finally happy. After so many years of tyranny and later liber liberalism, they are now finally free as they stand united under the nation and the church and the family. Good. Good. This is God wanted us to be. We got more defense anyways. That's good, good, good. Please, please, please. If you're attacking tanks, help out as much as you possibly can. We can't quite pierce them yet, which does suck. Um, honestly, with you guys, I'll probably throw more anti-tank for you guys. Modern. Ooh, more soft attack. Do we have any more anti-tank? You know what? Hold up. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, maybe we need to research anti tank. You know what? That's a perfect opportunity to do so then. I'll get some of this too. Hmm. Well, piercing is even better. Let's grab that one first. Overall, not bad. Muzzle brakes. AKMs, yeah. Probably want to get some of those. We're all security trains. Not bad. Very good as well. Uh, civilian trains. Russia and our enemies. <clears throat> 50 steals, 1. It's outdated, whatever. The motherland has many enemies in the world, and one thing they all have in common is that they are sit right on the motherland's doorstep. Do decadent communist sympathizers sit under the red thrones in many nations throughout the world, thrones built on the bones, flesh, and blood of their people. Further to the east lay the horrible stench of fascist oppression, ruling over the people and totalitarian party states with zero regard for the sacred traditions they claim to preserve. It is now up to Russia and the Russian people to liberate not only the Russian state from such terrible men, but it is their duty as a nation to put these rabid dogs down on anyone on planet Earth. The Russian bear stands firm for freedom. But let's end this episode with a proud people. We're no minor Soviet race. We are Slavs, Russians, and we will stand proud and will continue to stand proud as we reunite the, under the banner of the motherland. As in the next episode, we will reintegrate all of Russia, have a new capital, and hopefully make our way to Berlin. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and, below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will keep pushing further and further east. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.